Welcome to the Pete Dye course in French Lick, Indiana for the fourth annual Legends Championship won in a playoff by Trish Johnson over Julie Inkster. This is a two-part story. The first part is the golf. This thing took five and a half hours. Eventually, 24 holes were played. On the 18th hole in regulation, it was Inkster making a birdie putt to force the playoff with Trish Johnson. Both were minus five for the 36-hole event. But there were six more holes in the sudden death playoff. Neither lady could close the deal. Inkster actually had a lip out. Had it dropped, it would have won the championship, but it did not go. In the very end, after six holes of playing the 18th hole over and over again, it was Johnson surviving the marathon and winning the $37,000 first prize. She cracked first, I guess. It was, I was close to going. I was so tired by the end of it. Um, but I'm just, I'm chuffed a bit. Um, you know, this tour is something very, very special. You can remember that these, these people out here, you know, I played with them and I was very lucky to have played the LPGA Tour, I think, when I did with utter superstars, you know, Hall of Famers coming out their ears, basically. And, you know, to come back out here and play with them is, um, is utterly amazing. And it's a slightly, obviously, a different atmosphere um, than it used to be, but nonetheless, it's still, I uh, absolutely love it. And so Johnson wins in a playoff over Inkster. Last year, Inkster won the championship after nosing out Johnson at the wire in regulation. Now part two of the story, and that is the amount of money generated for charity, $800,000 over four years. This year, $200,000 to the Riley Children's Foundation, benefiting a children's hospital in Indianapolis. The much more important part of this story as the tournament moves on to year five. From the Pete Dye course in Friendship, Indiana, I am Fred Cowgill, WLKY Sports.